Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MS SQL Server 2022 on Windows Server. I have connected to Windows Server and its version is C. I am on Windows Server 2022 Data Center Evaluation Edition. Okay. Now go to any browser, then go to Google, search for SQL Server 2022 download. Click on this SQL Server Downloads. I will keep this link in the video description. Select SQL Server on premises, then click on Download. Otherwise, click on Products, then select the SQL Server 2022. Then click on Try Now to Download. See, we got the same screen. Click on Download now. Here we have to register. Fill all this data and check this one and click on download now. Select the 64 bit edition that is exe download. Notice here, see download has been started. Okay. Also notice here, system requirements. Open this link in the new tab. See here, go to click on hardware requirements are C. You must have 6 GB hard drive space and for express editions minimum RAM should be 6, 512 MB for other editions 1 GB. But recommended is 1 GB for express edition and 4 GB for 4 GB or more than that for remaining editions of MS SQL Server 2022. The supported operating systems are Windows 10 or greater versions of Windows 10. When it comes to servers, Windows Server 2016 or greater versions of 2016. Okay, you can go through them and check the requirements. Click on full downloads, show in folder, double click. See, I am going to install evaluation edition. The process is same for all editions okay click on this download media select the language by default it has selected english also check this iso then this is the download directory if you want to change you have to click on this browse then click on download see its size is almost 1 gp wait until this download completes See, download is completed. Click on close. Yes. Now, this is the ISO file. So, right click, then mount. Otherwise, double click. Yeah. See, now it is mounted in DVD drive. Now, click on this setup file. Now click on installation, click on the first option that is new standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. See it is evaluation, keep evaluation, click on next, accept, I accept the license terms and agreement, click on next. Click on next, all checks are passed, then click on next. If you want to use Azure extension, you have to check this box. Otherwise, uncheck it and click on next. In this video, I am going to only add this database engine services, not other options. Later, if you want to install this, again, you can click on, again open this one and you can click on this one, then you will see these options okay 
like integration services, analysis services, or replication and other options. And this is the installation root directory. This is the shared feature directory. This is the shared feature directory for x86. If you want to change, you have to click on this browser and you have to change. Okay. Click on. If you want to select all, all the features, you have to click on this one. If you want to unselect all, you have to click on this one. Then click on next. See here, we have two options for instance configuration, default or name instance. For this purpose, I am going with default instance. And this is the instance ID. Okay, click on next. See, it is going to install these three services. I am not going to change any startup type of these three services. Click on next. Here we have two authentication modes. Windows authentication and mixed mode. I am going with Windows authentication mode. Now, if you want to provide SQL Server Administrator, click on. If you want to make current user as the administrator, you have to click on Add User. Otherwise, click on Add, then search here. Okay. Click on Add Current User, then click on Next. See, this is the summary of SQL Server 2022 on Windows Server Operating Systems. If you okay with all these features then and this is the file path location then click on install See, we have successfully installed, click on close, but if you go to start, then MSSQL Server 2022, here we don't have any tool to connect to MSSQL Server. So, click on this install SQL Server Management Tools, then we will download the SQL Server Management Studio 2019. Click on download SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio. See the available version is 19.2. Click on free download for SQL Server Management Studio 19.2. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See its size is 647 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. See download is completed successfully. Go to Downloads directory. Here, see here we have the SSMS setup. Double click on it. It is going to install in this location. If you want to change, you have to click on Change. Otherwise, click on Install. See, it is going to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. Okay. See, we have successfully installed SQL Server Management Studio. Click on Close. Now, close this tool also. Now, go to Start. Then, see here, SQL Server Tools 19. Expand this one. Click on SQL Server Management Studio 19. Here server name is the localhost, that is the machine name. The machine name is PC, right click on properties, this is the device name. You can copy this one, then paste here. It is already there, no need to do, okay. Otherwise, simply give localhost, both are same. Click on enter. Expand databases, 
expand system databases see these are the four databases comes with ms sql server 2022 let's verify whether this is ms sql server 2022 or not click on new query then run select at the rate at the rate version select the text and click on this execute button or f5 from your keyboard see we have installed a microsoft sql server 2022 okay suppose if you want to create a database just give create database then database name or course select the text or the script or the query click on this execute button see command completed successfully but still it is not showing here right click on databases click on refresh see new user database has been added if you want to create database by using graphical mode right click on databases and select new database see here we have to provide database name owner name and these are the data on log directory locations collection settings default recovery model compatibility level we have from 2008 to 2022 container type none okay then file group okay if you okay with all these settings you have to click on okay otherwise cancel like this we can create database using gui mode okay and one more last step is we will see how to start stop and restart ms sql server 2022 on windows operating system start run then services dot msc maximize this one sql see here we have the sql server its status is running if you want to stop right click and click on stop if you want to restart right click and click on restart okay otherwise select the service here click on stop service click on restart service otherwise click on stop here click on these buttons to stop or restart in the same way if you want to stop you have to click on this hyperlink if you want to restart you have to click on this restart button okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install ms sql server 2022 on windows server then we have seen how to download and install sql server management studio on the same then we have connected to ms sql server from the sql server management studio okay for more sql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you